Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be doing some super easy 3D bunny butts, but first we have to get into our base. We're starting off with luncheon from Stash Polish on all of our nails and completely covering our finger with liquid latex because we are going to be marbling with the highly anticipated, much talked about saltwater taffy collection, I believe it's called, from Savannah Lacquer. Yes, they are just as good as everybody has been raving about. You can see the spread in the water. I am using all six pastel neons that were released as well as Savannah Lacquer's clear marbling polish, which is hands down the best clear I have ever marbled with. As you can see in the water, it holds the clear. There is absolutely no bleeding between the clear and the different colors. If you liked water marble, you need this collection, and excuse my way too much shaking there, <laughs> but there are 19 rings in a very small cup. I'm going in with my Pure 7 What's Up Nails marbling tool, and I'm going to be making tiny little petals to place on my nail, and please excuse my voice, you guys. The, the, the shit, it is, it's not crud, it is straight up shit, is going around my house and it has finally caught up to me. I'm so sorry. But as you're seeing, I am just placing my finger down on top of those yellow petals, trying to make it as even on all of the nails as I possibly could, and I got all six colors on my nails. <laughs> Blow on the water to get it all cleaned up and get that excess out of the water. If you need more help on how to create the perfect water marble, I will leave my water marbling for newbies video in the top right hand corner. And voila. Oh my God, look at that. I'm seriously like, it takes a lot to impress me as far as water marbling is concerned. These took zero effort. I mean, anybody could water marble with these. If you are having problems water marbling or anything like that, go buy this collection. It's beautiful. For the art and the start of our 3D bunny butts, we are going in with a Moyu London's fe festive collect collections plate, I think it's called. This was gifted to me by Becky from Hollow Glam Decals. I'm not sure if she sells it. You can go ahead and DM her to see if she has it. And I just did some color placement stamping. The etching on this is not the best. It's pretty shallow, so it didn't really hold the colors very well, but it still turned out really cute. I'm going in with the What's Up Nails Dance 20 brush and dabbing on a mixture of a really light gray and white polish to fill in our bunny. And I'm doing it very sloppily to give it kind of fur. And as you can see on my nail there, I already did this once, it didn't work out. So we're just gonna cover it up with the bigger bunny butt and just pretend the first try never happened. <laughs> Who else can fill me there? For the fluffy little bunny tail, we are gonna be taking a cotton round that I'm pretty sure every nail lover has. Take a small piece, curl it up in a little ball between your fingers, top coat your nail. And then place that little tiny cotton ball right on your little bunnies behind. Once you remove the liquid latex, this is the finished little nail. I, would, I, I actually wore this for two whole days and the cotton stayed. I was actually really surprised. This is what I did on my middle finger and nothing special there. It was a cute image though. I really like how these turned out and here is the macro of the actual marble, you guys. It's so good, so freaking good. Go get them right now. I'll have everything in the description down below, so don't forget to check it out. And if you haven't subscribed to me already, you can do so by clicking on my little icon, and don't forget to give me a big thumbs up and share my video. Bye, guys. Music